cancer. A special series you must see, Dateline. We hope you're enjoying this Wednesday, August 21st. Here is what's straight ahead for you on News 8 at noon. Two West Michigan teens are in court this morning in the shooting death of a party store clerk last winter. We'll have a live report. In our Health Beat report, researchers have discovered another type of cholesterol that in some people can lead to heart disease. And I'm Jerry Barnaby. We'll tell you how to wash your car using absolutely no water. I'm meteorologist Mace Rogers. We have a little less humidity in the air. Not really much of a chance of rain today, but that changes for tomorrow. The weekend looks good, too, though. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Stay tuned. It's all next. On your 24-hour News 8 at noon. For 20 years of being a cop, I've never seen anything like it. An insurance company at the scene of the accident before we were. You from the fire department, I ask? No, he says. I'm from Progressive Insurance. Calm the folks down. Got him a rental car. And he even cut him a check on the spot. That's not what I expected from an insurance company, I told the guy. He said, well, maybe that's what you should expect. Call 1-800-AUTO-PRO or your authorized independent agent. Thursday morning on daybreak, after five years of construction, the West Leonard Business District is finally set to reopen. We'll have a story on that. Keith Monahan's in with your forecast, so join us tomorrow morning on Daybreak. Live from Wood TV 8, West Michigan's news leader, Larry Neenhouse, Linda White, Warren Reynolds, meteorologist Terry DeBoer, and Jerry Barnaby, this is 24-Hour News 8. In a robbery attempt last February, 60-year-old Rodney Corp was shot dead. Now two of the suspects are on trial for his murder. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining News 8 at Noon. I'm Heather Heron in for Linda White. And I'm Brian Sterling in for Larry Neenhouse. Two separate juries will decide the fate of two West Michigan teenagers charged with murdering 60-year-old Rodney Corp back in February. News 8's Joe LaFergie is standing by live from the Hall of Justice with details on the trial so far. Joe? Oh, Brian, opening arguments in the case against Saul Montalvo and Christopher Peltier were expected to get underway this morning. That has been put off, though. The judge and attorneys in this case still waiting through a number of pretrial motions. They haven't got through them yet, so the judge has decided to send the jury home a little bit early today. They will get those opening arguments underway tomorrow. You'll remember the case, Montalvo, seen here in the white shirt, and Peltier in the check shirt, were charged with a February 1st murder of Robert Corp. The 60-year-old was working at the beer cooler on Grand Rapids' west side that evening when three suspects walked in and shot Corp during a robbery attempt. A third suspect in this case, Robert Mays, was convicted in June of first-degree murder for his part in the crime. Both Montalvo and Peltier also facing first-degree murder charges. They could receive life in prison. That's a mandatory sentence if convicted on this crime. We're live at the Hall of Justice. Joe LaFergie, News 8. Okay, Joe, thank you very much for that report. Heather? Two drivers are now facing criminal charges in separate accidents that killed someone. The first is 33-year-old Wayne Winchester. Winchester went before a judge to be officially charged with negligent homicide in an accident that killed 46-year-old Jose Sasotis. Winchester was driving a gravel truck when he ran a red light at the intersection of 68th and Kalamazoo. His truck smashed into Sasotis' car and killed him. And the other man facing the same charge is Thomas Peake. He, too, is charged with negligent homicide in an accident that killed 22-year-old Christy Lorty last month. Witnesses say the semi Peak was driving slammed into Lorty's car on I-96 near Lowell. Lorty's, car, Lorty's was trapped in her car when it caught fire. She died at the scene. Both men could get two years in jail and or a $2,000 fine. Dr. Jack Kevorkian has assisted in another suicide, his second in less than a week. 76-year-old Louise Siebens from Texas was suffering from Lou Gehrig's disease. Her daughter and son-in-law brought her to Michigan. Kevorkian was alone when he wheeled Siebens' body into Pontiac Osteopathic Hospital last night around 10 o'clock. Uh, Dr. Kevorkian uh, brought in a uh, patient here to the trauma center. Uh, she was evaluated in the trauma center and uh, pronounced uh, at uh, 2211, 10, 11 minutes after 10 o'clock. Um, the ME was notified and uh, uh, usual protocol was carried out and she was uh, taken to the ME's office. This death comes on the heels of the assisted suicide of Judith Curran. Doctors found no evidence of any life-threatening illnesses in her body. 
The Warren couple, accused of forcing their six-year-old twins to fight each other while being videotaped, have been released from jail. Gary and Talisa Downs still face child abuse and extortion charges, but they can have weekly supervised visits with their kids now that they've been released. Michigan is joining the fight with 12 other states against tobacco companies for the Medicare costs of diseases linked to smoking. A Michigan attorney says our state has a good chance of winning its $14 billion suit. The money would go to recoup the state's Medicaid payments for tobacco-related problems. Uh, the Department of Community Health has convinced me that we can show from Medicaid records, Medicare records, various public health records, that that is the amount of money that the state has spent for tobacco-related treatment. We can prove it. In other words, we have to prove it. The suit also asked that tobacco companies release their information on how smoking affects human health. Nace Rogers, what a difference a day makes. Not, don't, uh, not any rain today. Don't have to worry about right. that. Humidity's <laughs> a little, a little cooler, lower. A yeah. little cooler. Temp, both a uh, nice relief from all the trouble we had yesterday with the storms. And at least you can walk outside without sweating within a couple of seconds. Much nicer to have to have less in humidity. We don't have to deal with that. It looks like, though, down the road we will see the humidity come back in tomorrow. Looks like we'll bring in the showers and storms once again. But again, that's down the road. We've got a little while to worry about that. The weekend looks okay, too. I'll talk about that a little later on. For today, hazy sunshine, temperatures in the 80s. If you're out and about throughout the afternoon and this evening, a little muggier as lows drop off into the 60s. Into tomorrow again, that's when we bring back the storms, and I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Okay. okay. We'll see you then. Sure. Thanks, Mace. Thanks. So how long do you want to live? Most Americans hope to be around for a long time. Yeah, a new study says three out of five people want to live to be 100 years old. While few think they will actually reach the century mark, large numbers of Americans are willing to take active steps to increase their longevity odds. According to the survey, baby boomers are just as likely as the overall population to say they want to live to 100. The next younger generation is even more eager to live to 100, with 68% of those in Generation X saying they want to reach that milestone. We already know there are two kinds of cholesterol, the good and the bad, but a new study found another cholesterol-carrying particle called lipoprotein little a. The protein doubles the risk of heart attacks in men over age 55. And in New Jersey, prosecutors say the mob has infiltrated the health care industry. An associate of the Genovese crime family is accused of bribing people to bring business to his health care management company. And coming up in the second half hour, getting your kids off to a healthy start in the morning. We'll talk live via satellite with Dr. Mom about the National School Breakfast Program. I guess we all should be eating a healthy breakfast, not just Yes, yeah, that's good. Good <laughs> advice to have. The president signs a health care reform bill today. We're going to talk live with Senator Carl Levin about its provisions. Also, your sport utility vehicle may be the target of a recall requested by Consumer Reports. We'll have details next in national headlines. And wash your car without water? Jerry Barnaby shows us how the process works and what your car is going to look like next. When you want local news from where you live, watch 24-Hour News 8. When you want live reports from major stories, watch 24-Hour News 8. When you want all the details of big events, watch 24-Hour News 8. When you want news that's important to you, watch 24-Hour News 8. When you want around-the-clock news coverage, only one station in West Michigan brings it all to you. 24-Hour News 8. See what's hot on the open house scene. Watch the Westdale Real Estate Digest Sundays at noon on Wood TV 8. Westdale Blues for you. Amazing Blue Star ointment stops itching fast. Ringworm, dry cracked feet around the nails and cuticles. Athletes' feet, jock itch, psoriasis. Blue Star ointment, the one that's guaranteed. Ask for it. Jenny's talking candid. Well, tell me more. I'm telling you. Jenny's talking personal. I was going to offer to buy you dinner, but maybe you just like a room. I don't know. Jenny Jones. Is it warm in here or is it just me? She's talking to you. Jenny Jones, weekdays at 10 on Wood TV 8. Well, I've never been to a party like this before. Talk about getting in the last word. Well, he certainly did it right. Well, doesn't this sort of thing take a little uh, planning? Well, you know, I heard his Trust 100 funeral planner helped him do everything his way. You know, I think I want to have bagpipes. Yes, definitely bagpipes. <laughs> you and maybe. Isn't it time you called your family-owned Trust 100 funeral home for details? Do it now for the ones you love. 
summertime. Lush green grass, blue skies. What could be better? How about a new Buick? And how about some cash to go along with it? That's what you'll find at your Buick dealer Summerfest. Go with a dramatically designed Riviera and get an incredible $2,000 in factory cash. Plus, get giant cash back on Park Avenue, Regal, Century, and Skylark. Don't miss the biggest savings of the year on a new Buick. Hurry to your Buick dealer Summerfest today. Because just like summer, these values won't last long. Healthcare insurance will soon be a little easier to get. That story tops national headlines this noon. President Clinton signs legislation today that guarantees workers can keep their health coverage even if they change or lose their job. It also forces insurers to take on people with pre-existing conditions. White House Press Secretary Mike McCurry says the president considers the bill a very important incremental step toward universal health care. Memorial services are being held today in Texas and Wyoming to remember the nine victims of the crash of an Air Force cargo plane over the weekend. One service will be at Dias Air Force Base in Texas, where eight of those aboard were stationed. There is still no word on what caused that crash. It's another trying day for fighter fighters in the West. Dozens of fires are burning in Oregon, Colorado, California, Utah, and Washington State. Consumer Reports charged that 1995-96 Isuzu Troopers and 1996 Acura SLXs can roll over during sudden turns at low speeds, and it demanded a recall of the sport utility vehicles. Consumers Reports also is asking the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to investigate the models and establish a set of emergency handling standards for all sport utility vehicles. Consumers Reports has also recommended that the companies either fix the models or offer owners a replacement or a refund. The car makers responded by saying the vehicles meet all current safety standards. As we just told you in our top national story this noon, President Clinton signs the health care reform bill into law today. And joining us now live from Washington, D.C., to discuss what the law will mean to you is Michigan Senator Carl Levin. Thanks for being with us today, Senator. My pleasure. Good afternoon. First off, what does this bill include and what does it mean for those of us right here in West Michigan? Well, there are millions of people in this country who've been uh, denied uh, health insurance because of pre-existing conditions. These are people who are working at places that have coverage. Uh, and uh, insurance companies are now going to be restricted as to their use of pre-existing conditions and denying health insurance uh, to Americans. Secondly, uh, people when they change jobs or lose jobs frequently lose their health insurance. The new job that they're going to may not have health insurance uh, and they don't have health insurance while they're unemployed. They are going to be guaranteed that they can continue the health insurance that they had previously uh, at their prior jobs and they're not going to people will not be locked in to jobs we have now people who would like to change jobs voluntarily but who can't because they're afraid that they will lose their health insurance uh, that uh, will no longer be true people will be guaranteed that they will have access to insurance so uh, th this is not universal health care we got a long way to go we got 40 million americans out there who are not insured 10 million children who are not insured but for a few million at least uh, who uh, have pre-existing conditions who've been denied or who have lost jobs or change jobs and lost their insurance, this will be a very significant step forward. Okay, Senator, this bill does not address people who are uninsured. How does it help those people? It, it does not, and that's, uh, I think, a real failing uh, in uh, our health care system that we do not have universal insurance. We're going to continue to fight for universal insurance. There is no other advanced economy that does not have uh, insurance for every one of their citizens and it is inexcusable that we do not have it and so until we are able to figure out the right way to do that we're moving incrementally these are two or three very significant incremental steps today and by the way we're also increasing the deductibility of the premium for those who are self-insured currently you're able to deduct 30 percent of the premium if you are self-insured and carry health insurance that is going to 40 percent immediately and then to 45 percent next year okay this was signed into law today by president clinton how soon will we see the effects of it uh, the first effects will be uh, this year and uh, we're looking forward to that uh, signing ceremony this afternoon in the Rose Garden. We're heading right over there. Okay, thank you very much, Senator Carl Levin, for joining us this afternoon. It's mixed news for Dayton Hudson's. Customers are spending more money at some of the company's stores, but not at others. Dayton Hudson's quarterly profits are up 261 percent. 
thanks to a big boost in sales at Target stores. But profits are down at the company's department stores, Dayton's, Hudson's, and Marshall Fields. Overall profits have still landed above expectations, but Wall Street is leery. Dayton Hudson stock fell more than 87 cents yesterday. And on Wall Street this noon, stock prices are lower in moderate trading. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 11 points in today's early going. And at noon, the Dow is down 36 and a quarter points. Now let's take a look at stocks of local interest. When you're injured, you have questions. You don't know where to start. Call us first. The call is free. The advice is free. We'll visit you at home or in the hospital. And remember, if there's no recovery, you pay no fee. If your injury is the result of an auto accident, a slip and fall, a defective product or medical malpractice, call 1-800-CALL-SAM. If you've been injured, call 1-800-CALL-SAM. Sam Bernstein, the injury lawyer who gets results. For a forecast with flavor, watch Terry DeBoer's Weather Cafe, Thursdays at noon on 24 Hour News 8. It's even better than I thought it'd be. There are stores I've never even seen before. The wait was definitely worth it. It's just so cool. I think they hit the jackpot on this one. Thank goodness we didn't move to Chicago. Great stores, great restaurants, a big hit. They have cookies here. Excellent. Four stars. A winner. Fantastic. Two thumbs up. How will they ever get people to leave at closing? The new Somerset Collection, built to your specifications. Now, prices are falling on all mattresses during Art Van Sealy Factory Authorized Posturepedic Sale. Save 30 to 55% on all Sealy mattresses, including Posturepedic styles, and get instant rebates up to $200, but only while quantities last. Save one half on the Sealy Posturepedic Queen Set, now just $377, our lowest price ever. Plus, Mattress Express guarantees next day delivery or your mattress is free. We'll even pick up your old mattress free. For the lowest prices ever on Sealy Posturepedic, hurry into Art Van now. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Have you thought about Grand Rapids Educational Centers? I know it worked out great for you. I'm just not sure I'm ready yet. Some of their programs are as short as 30 weeks. They even have evening classes so you can keep on working. Maybe I will call Grand Rapids Educational Centers. Why don't you call now? Welcome back to News 8 at Noon. You're looking at a live shot of the Muskegon area, Muskegon Lake, from our sky cam atop the Muskegon Mall. Beautiful day. See a little bit of sun peeking mm -hmm. out. It is, it is. Some hazy sunshine, some high clouds, and of course some of the moisture left over from the fog this morning. Those clouds have slowly drifted up. So there's a few clouds around, but for the most part it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. That's the only minus we can find. The humidity levels are down from yesterday. We don't have to contend with the thunderstorms, so all that we're talking about it's just some warm temperatures. Current conditions at the Kent County Airport, 77 right now. Dew point holding by at 63. East winds right now at 8 miles an hour, and the winds are varying all across the area because we have a front that's cutting the state just about in half. You can't see it too much in the way of difference temperature-wise. The north half of the state a touch cooler in the low to mid-70s. Right here, Grand Rapids, Muskegon, we're running right along the front or just a touch to its north. Our temperature's mid to upper 70s. Those of you Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, at least I checked the Battle Creek, Ob, for some reason it didn't get on here. But you're also in the low 80s, low 80s just to the south of that front. And not only is there a slight difference in temperature, but there is a slight difference in the way the morning lows were this morning, too. South of the front, readings in the 60s. To the north of the front, 40s and 50s. It's not a real strong boundary, but mainly just enough to slight touch in the winds, difference in the direction, and a little bit of a difference in the way that the temperature is ending up. And finally, the moisture content's a touch different too. Just to the south of the front, those of you Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, Benton Harbor, southward, down towards South Bend, readings in the 70s, so it's a little more muggy, but to the north of the front, 63, as you can see here in the Grand Rapids area, and as you get farther even to the north, some 50-degree dew point, so it makes it feel a little more refreshing. Out here to the west, though, that's where our focus is going for tomorrow's showers and thunderstorms. You can already see the 60 and 70-degree dew points pooling up along this cold front, and some much drier air is ducking in behind. That'll set up a clash for air masses and some pretty strong showers and storms today in Minnesota and the Dakotas. 
and probably drifting into our area sometime as we look into tomorrow. Some of those storms could be on the stronger side. If that happens, it would be more towards the later part of the afternoon when our instability is greatest. There's the clouds from late yesterday and last night moving out, and here's the storm starting to fire up out in Minnesota. Still one pretty strong storm in Beltrami County, that's north of Bemidji, almost at the border, just south of Lake of the Woods, which is right here. And this little storm has been severe throughout much of the morning. Other than that, there's not much to report at this time. Temperatures just aren't warm enough to kick the thunderstorms up high enough to really get themselves going on the severe side. But about later on today, we'll really see some strong storms along this front. You saw that difference in air masses and temperatures are much cooler out in the Rockies too. There's where the map looks like right now. The cold front again cutting down and there's the warm front giving us the difference in air masses. Here's how it'll shape up tomorrow when the front cuts across. The forecast for the rest of the afternoon, hazy sunshine, warm and a little muggy. Temperatures, uh, Grand Rapids and uh, Muskegon in the low to mid 80s, mid to upper 80s, Kalamazoo Battle Creek. Partly cloudy, mild, humid, upper 60s tonight and you'll feel the humidity even more tomorrow. Everyone will be a little thick. The old moisture content, increasing clouds, a few showers and storms and temperatures well into the 80s with a southwest wind. Lake forecast, readings, upper 60s to low 70s in the water temps, winds and waves, not too bad today. The five day shows a dry weekend. At least it looks that way so far and comfortable too. We have really lucked out with weekends, haven't we? Everything's been falling right on the mm -hmm. weekend. It's been sort of nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's been like eight in a row. I think so. It's, yeah, you're right. You're I'm counting. <laughs> Believe it. Thanks, Mace. Thanks, sure. Well, it's a nice enough uh, day to wash your car, so you need, what, a, a bucket, a sponge, some soap, and, of course, water, right? Right, unless you're using a waterless product to clean your vehicle. Jerry Barnaby joins us now live to explain. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. How you guys doing? Good. Good. You know, the longer I live, the more I'm amazed at what goes <laughs> on, uh, the developments that are happening. Uh, photographer John Short and I were cruising down 96 a few weeks back, and we saw a car go by with a magnetic sign that said, waterless car wash on and that certainly piqued our interest and I just found out that you know how much water it takes to wash a car 150 gallons of water so let's talk about a waterless car wash because it's environmentally correct and also as I think we're gonna find out it's also better for your car come on over here Sherry this is Envirotech International is the name of your company Envirotech International out of Las Vegas Nevada and I'm an independent distributor Okay, and you know, to me, 150 gallons would seem to be enough water to do the job, but here you have, what, a little spray bottle in your hand. I have an eight ounce bottle. That is gonna clean a car? Actually, this is going to clean a car four times. Wow, how does it happen? Well, we have Debbie over there demonstrating, so while you do that, Debbie, Sherry, tell us about this product and what makes it special. The product is very unique, being that it has 47 different ingredients. And it actually emulsifies around the dirt, wraps around the dirt, and using terry cloth towels, the loops in the terry cloth will lift off the dirt, bring the dirt up onto the terry cloth towel. You use another terry cloth towel to wipe it off, and it buffs it to a beautiful shine. So it almost looks like she's waxing the car as opposed to washing mm -hmm. it. it. The product itself will clean, polish, seal, and protect all in one easy step. Now, I like to get out there and wash my car about once a week or so, and that's why we can't use my car for this segment, because it's so darn clean. But would you actually go through this procedure every week? No. Uh, in between, in order to get the shine back when your car gets dirty, you can simply go out with a wet terry cloth washcloth and a dry terry cloth towel, wipe it down with a wet washcloth, buff it with the dry one, and the shine will come right back and actually intensify the shine. Wow, and speaking of intensified shine, let me check out your forehead. Are you breaking a sweat? Yes, no, <laughs> not at all. It's, it's a pretty good workout? It's real easy to do. If you'd like to try it, I'll let you try it, but it's real easy. As you can see, I was just putting it on. I haze it and buff it out. All righty, and you know, because you guys sell the product, folks can actually have it and use it themselves, but you'll also come out to their place of business or even their home and do their car for them? Yes, yeah. and there are also independent distributorships available. Okay, hey, don't stop. This is Mace Rogers' you car right here. Do it all right there. This also takes bugs off. I see that she's going into bug territory yes, there. Yes, bug territory. Um, we can actually remove the bugs from the front of the car. We'll go back over that area with the dry wash and guard. It will seal and protect that area so the next time you get bugs you can actually wipe them off with a wet terry cloth towel how much does this cost um an eight ounce bottle will run twenty dollars um 
we have, and we'll do the car four to five times. A 32-ounce bottle runs $40, and that won't wash your car 16 times. Wow. Hey, folks, do you want some more information about why I'm holding this hose? No. Call the hotline, 771-9618. That'll put you in touch with Debbie and Sherry with uh, Envirotech Industries, and uh, you can talk to them about the waterless car wash. And I did say they will come out to your house and do it for you as well. We're going to talk about how much that costs and also talk about doing the interior of your car as well because this stuff gets stains out of the upholstery, I understand. So, Brian, where's your rig, man? It's that white Explorer there. Hit it. Oh, it's going down the street. <laughs> Please. Sorry. <laughs> no, okay. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Okay. Okay, Jerry. Thanks. Thanks, Jerry. Carol Burnett appears on Must See TV. And Burt Reynolds is back in the movies. Details next in People News. For your baby, there are so many names and so many things you need. But one name has all that you need. USA Baby. Now get incredible savings during our stork-wide sale. Choose from America's largest assortment of custom-designed cribs, furniture, and linens. Our total service includes delivery, free layaway, plus professional guidance on preparing for your baby. USA Baby does make a difference. Hurry in for the giant sale at the USA Baby nearest you, Grand Rapids and Battle Creek. Rosie welcomes Regis Philbin, Erica Slezak, a special performance by the Seven Guitars, and it's Elmo on the Rosie O'Donnell Show. Watch Rosie today at 4 on Wood TV 8. It's back to school time again, and that means you can chalk up the savings at your Spartan store. Save on Eckridge, Bologna, or Frank's, only 99 cents. Spartan brand 12-ounce shredded cheddar or mozzarella, three for $5. Era liquid laundry detergent, three for $10. And six roll Northern free bath tissue, two for three dollars. Stop by your Spartan store and chalk up the savings. Call toll free for a Spartan store near you. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. You know, people who like Free Dent because it won't stick to most dental work love Free Dent because it's soft to chew and deliciously long-lasting, too. That's why they stick with the gum that won't. Non-stick Free Dent, the perfect gum for almost perfect teeth. If you've seen one raisin brand, you've seen them all. Total raisin brand? Uh, let me guess. Uh, raisins and bran? Sweet, crunchy, good flakes. Hmm. There's 100% of all these vitamins in total. There's not 100% of anything in post. Am I the first to notice this? Total Raisin Bran. The Raisin Bran with the total difference. There's obviously a difference. I stand corrected. In People News this noon, Burt Reynolds has a new picture in the future. The actor will star with William Forsyth and Balthazar Getty in Big City Blues, a comic thriller similar to The Usual Suspects. Shooting begins this fall. Carol Burnett is making a guest appearance on Mad About You this season. The actress and comedian will play Jamie Buckman's mother on the episode, which is set to run in September. Jamie is played by Emmy nominee Helen Hunt. And Donny Osmond is going to have to keep it quiet for a while. He has injured his vocal cords. Osmond is appearing in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, but went on the disabled list Friday. His doctors say he has to keep it quiet for at least another week. An understudy is going on with the show now in Boston. Wow, what a big break for that person. He definitely. Chances are. There is still a lot more news and information ahead in the second half hour of News 8 at Noon, including these stories. With the school year uh, set to begin, Grand Rapids Community College struggles to negotiate teacher-administrator contracts. Still ahead in health, is breakfast really the most important meal of the day? Some tips on getting your kids off to a good start in the morning. Ryan at the Korean War Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. Coming up, we'll show you what else is new in our nation's capital. It's all up next as your 24-hour News 8 continues. Please don't go away. Dad wanted his funeral to be simple. No fuss, no bother. To be honest, I don't know that I could have handled all the fuss either. But I couldn't just let him go. The Trust 100 funeral director from my civic group answered all our questions and helped us arrange exactly what we wanted. <laughs> we felt like we were part of his family.
isn't it time you called your family-owned Trust 100 Funeral Home for details? Trust 100. They're family. It's the Calvin College piano sale with huge discounts on quality new and used grams, uprights, and digitals. This Saturday only, follow the signs on East Beltline in Grand Rapids to Calvin College. One loan, one payment each month, and nothing more. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? If you're like most homeowners, you're paying a mortgage, several credit cards, and an auto loan each month. That's why the Money Store introduced the Combo Loan. With the Combo Loan from the Money Store, you can refinance your mortgage and consolidate your bills. You'll have one loan, one payment, and write just one check each month. Plus, the interest can be tax deductible. One loan, one payment with a combo loan from the money store. Call 1-800-LOAN-YES. This is big news. This is unbelievable. I gotta let everybody know. Join friends and family free and get one free hour of calls automatically. Every month to other MCI customers. No name, no list, free calls. Free, honey. Call now to sign up for this new plan. Friends and family free. Free call. Whoopee! Only Certs has a great mint taste. Plus a sparkling drop of red tea to freshen your breath. Only Certs is two mints in one. It's back. The painful burn of acid indigestion. You need powerful relief. Rolaids can absorb 47% more acid than regular Tums. Put the fire out fast. Rolaids spells relief. From Wood TV 8, West Michigan's news leader, Linda White, Larry Neenhaus, Warren Reynolds, meteorologist Terry DeBoer, and Jerry Barnaby. 24-hour News 8's live coverage continues. Teachers and administrators at Grand Rapids Community College are trying to negotiate a contract as they prepare to begin a new school year. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for staying with News 8 at Noon. I'm Brian Sterling. And I'm Heather Heron. With schools all around West Michigan just days away from opening for the 1996-97 school year, students and teachers are busy making preparations for opening day. But as News 8's Rick Alvin tells us, Grand Rapids Community College teachers are dealing with more than their normal back-to-school routine. He joins us now live from the newsroom. Rick? Well, Heather, the problem at GRCC is that teachers and the administration haven't been able to agree on a contract. Two sides have been trying to come up with a new deal for almost a year and a half, but so far there has been no middle ground. Now, the board has decided to adopt their own plan because, says President Richard Culkin, the teachers aren't negotiating. The faculty made an original proposal in uh, May of 1995, and in 17 months and over 40 bargaining sessions, they have not changed anything substantially. The faculty members got a letter yesterday outlining pay raises of 6% over the next four years, as well as a reduction in so-called overload pay. That's when teachers take on more than the normal 15 hours of classes. And a combination of seniority and administration discretion would be used to determine which teachers get the overload. We've tried to contact the faculty president about the situation. So far, no one's been able to call us back. No matter what, Calkin said classes will start Tuesday as planned with the current staff or with replacement teachers. We're live in the newsroom. Rick Alban, News 8. Okay, thanks, Rick, for that live update. Brian? Only five more days before the Democratic National Convention gets underway, and West Michigan Democrats say they can't wait. The convention comes a week after the Republicans just ended their shindig in San Diego. Delegates from our neck of the woods say you'll hear a lot about Bob Dole's proposed 15% tax cut, and it will be an event that you won't soon forget. It won't even compare to the Democratic Convention, I can tell you. Um, we're really excited. We're right on the issues. You know, we've got issues about, uh, certainly about education, about the economy, about the environment. And a reminder, our coverage of the Democratic National Convention starts Sunday night. Tom Van Howe will be reporting live from the floor in Chicago. Here's a quick look at the top stories making local headlines today. One trial, but two separate juries will determine the fate of two teens accused of killing a 60-year-old party store clerk last February. Dr. Jack Kevorkian has assisted in yet another suicide. This one, a 76-year-old woman from Texas. The woman suffered from Lou Gehrig's disease. And a Michigan attorney says the state's planned lawsuit against tobacco companies has a good chance of succeeding due to the state's strong consumer protection laws. Michigan will become the 13th state to sue tobacco companies for the cost of treating smoke-related illnesses. 
And I'll tell you, Mace, it's a nice day to get your car washed, Must isn't it? Must be nice. Well, I just happened to walk outside mm -hmm. to get something out of my car, and Jerry said, hey, do you want your car washed? I said, sure, fine. Beautiful. I asked as well, and my <laughs> yeah. Mine was dirtier. Still in the parking lot. See, being, being a meteorologist, one of the things is you always know, you always know when it's going to rain next. So I put off uh -huh. when I'm going to wash my car constantly. I wasn't going to wash it this week because I knew when it was going to rain. Mm -hmm. So that's my bad part. Yeah, you're I, getting the royal treatment. Yeah, this is great. I don't <laughs> even have to do it myself. That's nice. Today... Looks like a beautiful day to do that or any type of outdoor activities. Hazy sunshine across the area. A touch warmer on the southern part of the viewing area where temperatures are already in the low 80s. Rest of us here in the north end, Grand Rapids, up towards Muskegon, a little cooler in the 70s right now. We have a warm front that's cutting across the area. Regardless, not anything in the way of shower and thunderstorm activity expected as temperatures should mainly be in the 80s throughout the region. We'll fall through the 70s this evening and drop to lows tomorrow morning in the 60s with partly cloudy conditions. Again, a peek at the weekend and also tomorrow's rainier forecast up in a little bit. Okay. Rain. Yeah. Too bad. <laughs> Not all day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mace. Sure. Thanks. Well, your kids will soon be heading back to school, and you can get them off to a good start in the morning by making sure they eat a good, healthy breakfast. Studies show a clear breakfast learning connection, which means that kids who eat breakfast do better in school. This is the 50th anniversary of the National School Lunch Program and the 20th year of the School Breakfast Program. According to a recent survey, many kids are eating breakfast, but that means there are still a number of kids who aren't getting a good start to their day. Joining us now live via satellite to talk about how we can change that is a pediatrician known as Dr. Mom, Marianne Niefert. Thanks for being with us, Doctor. Thank you. We have all heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Is that really true? I believe it is. It sets the, uh, the tone for the eating habits for the rest of the day. Kids that skip breakfast are very unlikely to meet their calcium requirement, for example. And as you mentioned, there's a learning connection as well. And that uh, children are going to miss out on a lot that goes on in the morning at school if they come in with an empty stomach. Okay, we're stressing the importance of eating breakfast. Is there something in particular they should eat rather than just cold cereal or a piece of toast? Well, you know, the all-American breakfast of cereal, toast, fruit, and milk is actually not only fast, but it's uh, very nutritious and it's, uh, and it's very popular among kids. It has the uh, four components that I like to teach about breakfast. It has a serving of milk, a serving of uh, fruit, and two from the grain group, uh, the toast and the cereal. And so that makes a nice combination of a breakfast and you don't have to go to a lot of trouble. Okay, a new survey shows the majority of kids are getting a good breakfast at least five times a week. Is that enough? Is that good news for us? It is good news, but it, the downside is that there are about 27% of children that don't eat breakfast every day. And I'm suspecting that many of those children could get a morning meal at the schools if more parents were aware that uh, most of the schools now do serve breakfast. And Michigan really is to be commended because even though um, fewer schools than the national average serve breakfast, the number has really doubled. It's gone up 99%. It's the state with the most improvement in the past year, so many of your families may uh, be surprised to learn that there's a breakfast program at their school. Okay. The toughest part, though, you know, is making time for breakfast. Any quick tips that you have in the morning that you can give kids something that's healthy, nutritious, but yet not going to take a lot of time in the morning? Yes. Besides the cereal meal, you could pack a, a grab-and-go breakfast the night before, for example, a muffin, a carton of milk, a piece of fruit, or you could whip up a milkshake. This one is made with uh, milk and uh, frozen banana cut in pieces and a little bit of uh, chocolate syrup. And so uh, you could heat up uh, last night's pizza. There's lots of ways to be creative and to do this uh, quickly. So um, the message is breakfast is very important. Eat it with your child if you can, or be sure they get it at school if you can't serve it at home. And if parents would like a, uh, a free brochure with some breakfast tips, some recipes that are kind of novel and different, spice up your breakfast, they can get that by calling a toll-free number, 1-800-347-2580. And that would have some uh, smart start breakfast tips. They could also, at that same number, get a brochure for the uh, tweens, the kids between 11 and 14, that uh, need some help with good eating habits and getting that calcium requirement. Okay, very good advice. Thank you very much, Dr. Mom, Marianne Niefert, for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Well, I'm hungry now. <laughs> Definitely. Between the pizza and the muffins and the milk there. And it's not even breakfast time. <laughs> <laughs> well, earlier, Jerry was showing us a waterless technology that cleans your car without water. How does it work on the interior? Jerry's going to show us more when we come back. This Sunday, 24-hour News 8's Tom Van Howe begins his live coverage from the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Michigan is a key state in the presidential election. Find out what the Democrats will do to get your vote and learn the role West Michigan will play at the convention. 
Plus, get interesting behind-the-scenes reports of convention activities. For a live local look at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, watch Sunday at 6 and 11 on 24-Hour News 8. First, best, live. Entertainment from the inside. Extra. Close up. Extra. The Entertainment Magazine. Tonight at 7. Only Surtz has a great mint taste. Plus a sparkling drop of Renson to freshen your breath. Only Surtz is two mints in one. It's back, the painful burn of acid indigestion. You need powerful relief. Rolaids can absorb 47% more acid than regular Tums. Put the fire out fast. Rolaids spells relief. Oh, hi, Elaine. Martha, we've missed you at Bridge Club. Having trouble getting around? Yes, I am. What I really need is a Lark scooter like yours. Then I could ride out here and get the mail. You're right. This scooter has made my life much easier. You know, Martha, you really should get one. Lark is the best, after all. Hi, Mom. Oh, come on in, Jane. I've been thinking about you, and I'm making your favorite cookies. Mmm, I can smell them. It's so nice to see you baking again. Does the lark really help? It sure does. Now I can do all the things that I used to do without getting tired. Thanks to your lark. Enjoy the freedom of everyday life with a lark. Lark, a leader in mobility with over 33 years' experience in providing the best in quality, safety, and value. Larks are easy to transport with a lark lift, and they're made in America. For a free lark brochure, call 1-800-554-6300. 1-800-554-6300. Lark, quality built for life. No buckets, no soap, and no water. No clue? Not necessarily. It's waterless technology that cleans the outside of your car. And we already saw what a good job that does, but how about the inside? Jerry Barnaby joins us now live with that. How you guys doing? Good. good. How are you? I'm just trying to get this sign to stay on top of the car. Yeah, but look, it's so Look how clean. slippery it is now that we cleaned it. It's pretty Isn't that buff. Cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why didn't we do my car? That's or my mine. Car. Well, well, yours has too many dents. Oh! oh. It's a new car. Yeah. Okay, anyway, we're talking about how it is that you can save 150 gallons every time you wash your car because that's how much water goes down the driveway. So we found these two ladies who have got this wonderful product. It's Sherry over there and Debbie right here, and you guys are with Envirotech Industries, and you sell what product? Envirotech International. We're independent distributors with them, and we sell um, dry wash um, and guard car wash. And that also and does the interior of the car as well. Also, we have a whole waterless line that does the interior of the car. We have a leather vinyl, and that's what I'm doing right now is the dashboard, and a carpet and upholstery, which will do the carpet and the seat. Well, how is this different than, say, like Armor All as far as doing the dashboard? Okay, number one, it will leave a matte finish. Mm -hmm. It won't do a finish that will shine like Armor All. And it will repel your dirt instead of attract your dirt. So even though it doesn't have that shiny, shiny finish, it stays cleaner a lot longer. Now, you were saying that this has got some UV protection in it. Will that keep the dashboard from cracking? Right. If you get this on and keep it protected with this product, that will lubricate that and keep that from protecting. Now, it looks like the owner of this car might have some kids or something because there are stains galore on the seat. Would will be. those come out as well? Yes, they will. Most stains will come out with either the leather vinyl, because this works as a degreaser, so if it's like a tar or real gooey stuff, this will help take that out, or the carpet and upholstery. Okay, keep working away there because, Thank hey, you. while we got you here, Let's make them work, right? Now, I was talking to uh, Sherry over here, who you're going to meet again real quick, and we were talking about the ashtray. Even if you're a smoker, you probably dread the smell coming from the ashtray, and it's just kind of a nasty little uh, receptacle in the car. You guys were telling me that you can actually, with your product, clean an ashtray so it doesn't smell anymore. Yes. As a matter of fact, one of the things that we like to demonstrate is by taking an ashtray and removing these nasty cigarette butts. I just throw them on the ground. I'll pick them up. All right. Make Jerry work. Yeah. What we can do then to demonstrate smell-o-vision is spray the fabric right in. Okay. Wait a few seconds because it is an odor eliminator. Wow, it doesn't smell like cigarettes anymore. It smells like, it smells like the fabric. It smells like my apartment. No, and so if you have a dog or a cat at home, say, right. will this uh, work on the yes. carpets and that sort of yes. thing? Yes, it will eliminate the animal smell 
from um, if your dog happens to get up on the furniture and on the rugs if you spill anything. Okay, well, come on over with me here because Mace Rogers has just shown up. The first time I've ever seen him step outside the Weather Center. He's a dedicated meteorologist with no tan. I love it out here. This is my favorite place to be outside. And apparently your car has spent a lot of time outside, Mace, because, to be honest, it looked like H-E double hockey sticks when we got a hold of it. What do you think of it now? Uh, it looks pretty clean. How much of this did you do, though? Check my sweat factor here. I did a lot of it. <laughs> You missed a spot in the front. Well, we'll get right back on that. But it almost looks like it's it, brand new, doesn't it? It looks great. That's uh, probably the best wash I've had for ages. You know, I didn't even know his car was purple. But it is now. Oh. Hey, folks, if you want more information about what we've talked about today, that is the waterless car wash. Also, the products to eliminate odors, stains, and it does great work on the windows, too. Call the hotline. The number is 771-9618. This is a product that, hell, you got a lot... Sorry about that. Heck, you got a lot of products on your shelf you probably never use. I guarantee you, this is one you probably will. Ooh, I better get out of here before I say something else. Sorry, folks. Heck. <laughs> Heck. Hey, uh, Jerry, Heather wants to know if you can use it in your hair. <laughs> <coughs> Nothing's going to get this gel out. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jerry. Still ahead, Mace Rogers will come back inside. He has your forecast. And from the looks of this live picture from the Muskegon Sky Mall cam, hazy sunshine for West Michigan this afternoon. Mace, we'll have your details next. Please stay with us. We have a seat reserved for you at Oak Express. In fact, Oak Express has over 50 styles of chairs, benches, and bar stools in stock and ready to take home. Capture the classic country look with our farm chairs, starting at just $36. This nostalgic Max Ray is $49, or the Boston Aeroback is just $48. Whichever chair you choose, you're getting the best seat in the house. Oak Express in Grand Rapids, Battle Creek, and Portage. Let's compare these two babies. The baby on the left has a beating heart. So does the baby on the right. The baby on the left has arms, legs, fingers, and toes. So does the baby on the right. The baby on the left can turn and jump and kick. So can the baby on the right. The difference is the baby on the left was just born, and the baby on the right would very much like to be. Life, what a beautiful choice. Did you know that impotence and sexual dysfunction in men 40, 50, 60, and older is almost as common as the ordinary cold, yet much more treatable? Century Medical Clinic and their staff of doctors specialize in new FDA-approved medications that can treat sexual dysfunction simply, safely, and effectively. For a free and confidential consultation, call the Century Medical Clinic today and get back into life. Medicare and most insurance is accepted. As adults, we feel we cannot act upon our urges because we would be fired. Fortunately, Orville Redenbacher alone has gratified our urge to crunch with his tasty 100% popcorn cakes with the flavor of sweet, creamy caramel, melted butter, and white cheddar cheese. This may inhibit our other urges. So run out and get Orville Redenbacher's 100% popcorn cakes. It's complete crunch gratification. Let's go on the SkyCam tour. First, we'll start off in Grand Rapids. A little more haze here, although there is some sunshine out there. A comfortable day. Not as humid as yesterday. The muggy conditions settle back just a touch. The dew point's dropping in the lower end of the 60s instead of being a little higher than that. When they're in the mid to upper 60s, it makes it feel sort of sultry. Muskegon, about the same picture. Your temperatures are about the same. Pretty comfortable. Good amount of sunshine. And readings across the area will continue to warm up about another 3 to 4 degrees from where they are now. Current temps at 77, the dew point at 63. Again, at this time yesterday, we were pushing 70 here in the Grand Rapids area. So to get that dew point away from 70 and back down at least into the lower 60s, it's a touch more comfortable. Those of you down around Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, though, your dew point's a little bit higher. You're on the south side of a warm front. While the warm front is dividing our viewing area in half, just to the north, it's a little bit cooler and that's why and also the dew points down to touch that's why it feels a little more refreshing winds right now east signifying we're also to the north side of the front but i don't expect this front to produce any rainfall and it hasn't today we've had full sunshine and readings are in the 70s again to the north side of the front especially in the northern part of lower and 60s across the up while we're seeing some 80s kalamazoo and also over towards uh, south bend in chicago to the south of this front but it's mainly just a difference in wind direction a touch 
and also in how much moisture and just a touch in the temperature. We're talking only about a five to six degree difference across this front, but it's enough when it cuts your viewing area in half, so I wanna be sure able to mention everyone, a little warmer to the south, notably cooler and a little less humid to the north. Clouds from yesterday streaming on out, high pressure building right across the state, not much to report other than a little bit of haze, but some thunderstorms are firing away in the Dakotas. This is along the next front that'll move into the area. So we look into tomorrow, bringing in a chance for some showers and storms. Some of those storms have been pretty strong. Still some severe thunderstorm warnings up for uh, parts of northern Minnesota, north of the Bemidji area and south of Warroad. It's Lake of the Woods. They've had some one-inch hail reported with this storm. It's only just before lunchtime out there. The instability really hasn't even built up at full force. So once it starts to, and this front continues to creep further to the south and east, dew point 60s and 70s out ahead of the front, behind it, 40s, that type of clash or difference of air masses will really be able to produce some showers and storms, and we should see a pretty good squall line along this front a little later on tonight and into tomorrow. Things will settle down towards tomorrow morning, but by tomorrow afternoon, the front should be sitting just about across our area, bringing in a good chance for some showers and storms across the region. Some of those storms tomorrow could be on the stronger side. The slight risk is out to the west today. We'll be sitting over us as we look into tomorrow, and roughly maybe around a quarter or a half an inch of rain. For the afternoon, here's how it's shaping up on the pinpoint. Got to do that for you because everyone's a touch different today. Hazy sunshine at 83 in Grand Rapids. A touch warmer around Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. Filtered sun at 88. If you're in the northern tier counties, a touch cooler, 82. A little humid, not quite as muggy to the south as, as it is to the south. Lots of sunshine along the lakeshore areas and winds out of the southwest. So we look into tonight, partly cloudy in the 60s. Muggy region-wide, though, as the front goes back to the north and into tomorrow. Looks okay, increasing clouds to start the day, but then showers and storms by the day's end and into the evening. Highs well into the 80s and the winds pick up. There's the lake temps looking good, and uh, winds and waves not too strong today. The five-day outlook shows a dry weekend after Friday. Gotta like it. Looks nice. Yeah. Thanks, Mace. Sure. Appreciate it. In today's travel report, our nation's capital. Travel reporter Paul Ryan discovers what's new in D.C. and how security concerns will likely affect your next visit. It's a monumental year for our nation's capital. The Smithsonian celebrates its 150th anniversary, and it's a presidential election year. This is a city where the politicians come and go. What's permanent are the buildings, monuments, and memorials. To keep visitors coming, you build more monuments and memorials, and then make it easy for those visitors to move around. The Korean War Veterans Memorial is the latest addition, a triangle of soldiers out in the field and a granite wall etched with haunting images of war. It's located near the Vietnam Memorial. Also nearby is a tribute to the 10,000 women who served in Vietnam, a statue of nurses tending to the wounded. And at the Lincoln Memorial, preservation work is being done to the steps, the first repair work since it was dedicated in 1922. In the wake of recent terrorist acts, the already cautious district is increasing security measures. You may be asked to open your bags for inspection before entering monuments and sites. And Pennsylvania Avenue in front of the White House remains closed to vehicles, which is fine with some visitors. Well, to tell you the truth, as long as you can walk around, I don't really care either way. <laughs> Not so fine with others. Well, I believe the leader of the free world needs to be free enough and feel free enough to, uh, to have the streets open. To get around the rest of Washington, D.C., try a tour bus or trolley or tram. Most will let you get on and off all day for about $20. Tour boat rides along the Potomac are about the same price. For under $2, ride D.C.'s Metro. It makes stops at many of the city's monumental sites. Reporting on what's new with Washington, D.C., I'm Paul Ryan. Meantime, West Michigan is exploring what's new in historical homes on the Marshall Tour. Warren Reynolds takes us along in today's Community First. John Harlow and Georgia Marsh are with us today as co-chairs for the Marshall Historic Home Tour coming up in early September. Good to have you both here. Thank you. I for know this us. is not the first year for the Home Tour. No, it's not. This is actually our 33rd year. It started out as a small kitchen tour and in 1964 became an officially organized home tour. And it's one of the Midwest's oldest. Georgia, you've been doing this for quite some time. 
Why is it a neat thing to do? Tell me about the tour. It's such a community project, and it focuses the attention not only on our older homes, but on all of the, the community, music and uh, antiques and, and bands and um, craft shows. It's just a real exciting event for our community. You have a lot of people come down there to take a look, and you have some gorgeous homes down there to, to go through. Tell me a little bit about the tour. Where do you start? start and like that well you start by coming into Marshall there's remote parking lots around the town that are pretty well marked there's shuttle buses that'll bring you right downtown to the Honolulu house where there's a series of buses that take you out to all the remote houses most of them this year are all within walking distance though so you have the option of riding or walking yeah that's mm -hmm. kind of neat how many houses do you have on the tour this year we have eight private homes and then we also have three public buildings our post office has an, a, a museum that's uh, one of the finest examples in the in the country outside of the smithsonian we have the gar hall and then our historical society headquarters the honolulu house what's always amazing is how nice the houses look i mean you mentioned these are private homes most of them mm -hmm. uh... and they look like they've just been renovated every time you go through the people must spend a fortune getting these homes ready for the tour some of them do <laughs> yeah. a lot of sweat equity you know, yeah. oh, there's a lot of sprucing up going on right now so you'll see people painting to all hours of the night just trying to get ready yeah, it really is kind of a neat community idea what's really remarkable about it is not only are the homes that are on tour spruced up, but we find the entire neighborhoods where those homes uh, exist also spruce up, and, and that's what makes our community what it is. Yeah, we need to know how much it costs to make the tour mm -hmm. and when it starts exactly. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you help me with that? $10 in advance, $12 uh, at the houses or the day of the tour. The tickets are on sale now. Uh, Saturday, September 7th from 9 to 5, the houses are open. And Sunday, September 9th from 10 to 5. We'll be there. Well, thank One you. of those days anyway. Good luck to you, and I know it's going to be a great, great happening. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. That's Community First. News 8 at noon will continue after this short break. Put the roses on the truck. All right. Thanks. It's allergy season, and I'm always congested. But the last time I took a strong medicine, it caused side effects that knocked me out and overdrive my sinuses. This time I took Sudafed instead. Big difference. Sudafed drains sinus pressure, clears nasal congestion with no overdrying, no drowsiness. No congestion, no problem. For strong relief with no unwanted side effects. Take Sudafed instead. When you're styling, when you're styling, when you're styling, when you're styling, the whole world smiles with you. Smiles with you. And when you're laughing, when you're laughing, oh, you're laughing, when you're laughing, mm, and the sun comes shining through. No nonsense, no appointment, no hassle haircuts. Smiles with you. That's what people want. Super cuts. Every time. Why is now the best time to lease a new Chevy or Geo? Because with any 24-month GMAC Smart Lease, you get a Delco 10-disc CD changer, no extra charge. It's the Chevy Summer Selldown at your West Michigan Chevy dealers. It's the perfect time to save on Chevy Cavalier with dual airbags, anti-lock brakes, and more for just $11,210. And when you Smart Lease for a new Chevy or Geo, you can get a Delco 10-disc CD changer, no extra charge. But time really does fly. So get to your West Michigan Chevy dealers now. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Have you thought about Grand Rapids Educational Centers? I know it worked out great for you. I'm just not sure I'm ready yet. Some of their programs are as short as 30 weeks. They even have evening classes so you can keep on working. Maybe I will call Grand Rapids Educational Centers. Why don't you call now? Coming up tonight on News 8 at 5, front and center, Michigan versus the tobacco industry. Should the tobacco companies be held responsible for the cost of smoking-related illnesses among the poor? Front and center, call and talk about it. Plus, in our Lifestyles report, living at home, more and more 20-somethings stay in the nest after college. You'll meet three different people and hear their reasons for living at home. 
And then coming up at 6, the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts of America paying royalty fees. ASCAP is warning the groups, we'll check out what's going on. It's going to do it for us today. Have a good afternoon, everybody. We'll see you back here at 5 o'clock. As adults, we feel we cannot act upon our urges because we would be fired. Fortunately, Orville Redenbacher alone has gratified our urge to crunch with his tasty 100% popcorn cakes with the flavor of sweet, creamy caramel, melted butter, and white cheddar cheese. This may inhibit our other urges. So run out and get Orville Redenbacher's 100% popcorn cakes. It's complete crunch gratification. While every other cereal is busy telling you how cheap they are, Chex would like to take a moment to remind you how good we are.